Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Damon, this is Dame Over, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to improve your aim on Modern Warfare 2 instantly. And before we get into the proper meat of this video sandwich, I want to remind you guys that I stream six days a week, Monday to Saturday. So if you want to catch me live, make sure you subscribe, you hit the bell button so the notifications are on and you join the Discord. Right, let's get to it. Now you probably clicked on this video if, like me, you were struggling a little bit with aiming in Modern Warfare 2. I had questions a lot of the time as to why my bullets weren't going where I thought they were going to go, even if I was pre-aiming a corner and I was the first person to shoot. Now I'm generally a player on a first person shooter that has good recoil control. So this was something of a surprise to me. So today I have two huge tips for you that will make a world of difference to your gameplay on Modern Warfare 2. So let's get into the first one and this is to do with the attachments on the weapon that you're using and it directly affects recoil control. So tip number one is to use a suppressor. Traditionally on Call of Duty games the suppressors are there to keep you off the minimap as there was audio spotting if you didn't run a suppressor. The trade-off being that there would be reduced damage, reduced damage range and sometimes increased recoil. Coil. But as a lot of you guys that are watching this video probably already know, in Warzone things changed when it came to suppressors and how they affect your loadout, and the same is true in Modern Warfare 2. If we take a quick look at the gunsmith with the cast of 7.62, which is the weapon I'm using at the moment, if we look at the muzzle and the first suppressor, the Polar Fire S, you can see on the pros we've got sound suppression, bullet velocity increased, damage ranged increased, and recoil smoothness, which is the most important statistic to pay attention to. The recoil smoothness smoothness makes it so much easier to control where your bullets are going to go especially at longer ranges and thanks to that increased damage range and bullet velocity it means you won't be missing your shots even out of what you normally would have thought was effective range for an assault rifle. If we take a look as well at the Castovia DX90, the next suppressor on the list, we have recoil smoothness and recoil control in the pros column. And the same is true for SMGs as well. So if we take the Lackman sub, have a look at the gunsmith and the muzzle, we have exactly the same situation with the first suppressor. We've got sound suppression, bullet velocity increased, damage range increased, and recoil smoothness increased with the X10 RR40. And with the SA Schalldampfer 99, I hope I pronounced that correctly, we have all the same things except for its recoil smoothness and recoil control which we're looking at as the combination and the pros column. Now it seems to me that a lot of players are not taking advantage of these incredibly important and very very useful stat boosts when they choose their loadouts and I think this is all down to the change in how the minimap works because it doesn't show you up on the minimap if you shoot without a suppressor anymore. It looks like people are overlooking the fact that it does actually have a big impact on the rest of the behavior of your weapon. So definitely put a suppressor on your weapon. You'll be seeing so far in the background footage gameplay of me using the cast of 762 with a suppressor attached and I'm telling you now it makes such a huge difference. I'm now going to put up gameplay without a suppressor and keep an eye on the recoil see if you can tell the difference. The next big tip I have for you for improving your aim and this especially goes for those of you that are playing with a controller increase your sensitivity. Now I was running a 6 and 6 with my sensitivity on my controller and I've decided to turn that all the way up to a 10 for horizontal and 7 with a vertical stick sensitivity sensitivity and it's made a huge difference in how much I feel the auto aim contributes to the gameplay. Now I was finding before and especially watching the kill cams every time I died that other people's aim was managing to stick onto me a lot easier and I could not figure out why. My auto aim is set to black ops and with the standard response curve type although I've been playing between that and linear I'm still yet to exactly decide on which one to go for but the main reason I found that my auto aim was not sticking where I wanted it to go was because of the sensitivity. I didn't have my sensitivity high enough for the impact of the auto aim to really be felt. So I've turned my horizontal sensitivity up by almost double and my vertical stick sensitivity just a nudge in the right direction. With the ADS sensitivity multiplier at 0.9, this means it's nice and snappy when I do aim down sight instead of feeling quite sluggish. This has made a huge difference to the level of my gameplay, especially when I'm coming up against people that use the movement mechanics well and bunny hop around corners and those arms with SMGs that have a very fast time to kill, especially at close range. I'm now way more able to compete with those players. Stick sensitivity is, of course, personal preference, but if you do feel like you're not able to whip around and hit those targets fast enough, then it's very likely that your stick sensitivity isn't high enough. So my top tip would would be to take that sensitivity way too far in the high direction and gently bring it backwards to where you can find a good
good middle ground between you being able to aim accurately and you being able to keep up with the player models you're seeing in front of you. I guarantee this will help your gameplay and you will bag a bunch more kills, but most importantly, you'll be staying alive for longer. So that's everything I've got for you today, guys. Don't forget, if you found this useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to join the Discord and hopefully I see you on one of the live streams really soon. Thanks for watching. That's game over. Peace.